Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about conditional statement that is if and else. So let's get started. All right, so I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text and inside the project folder, I have created a new file if else.html and inside this file, I have written the following HTML code and inside the JS folder, I have created a new file and I've saved it as if else.js, which is this one. And now inside this HTML file, I have included the JS file by writing this script tag. So I've set the SRC to JS slash if else.js. And now let us go ahead and open this HTML file in Chrome. And we'll also open the dev tools. So we'll go to view developer and we'll select the developer tools and we'll go to console tab. And since there is nothing in this console tab at this moment, that means we don't have any error. We use conditional statement when we want to execute a piece of code only when a certain condition is satisfied. So for example, let's say we have a variable X and its value is set to 10. Now let's say we want to console log the value of X. So we'll write console.log and X. And now to see this output, we'll go back to Chrome and we'll reload the page and we get 10. Now let's say we want to console log only when the value of X is greater than let's say 100. So this is a conditional scenario. That is we want to console log or let's say we want to execute this line only if the condition that is x greater than 100 is valid. So in this case, we are going to use the if statement. And the syntax of if statement is we write the if keyword, we open close the round brackets or parentheses, then we have to do some comparison. And we have the body of the if statement, which is inside the opening and closing curly brackets. So some code goes here. So we want to console log the value of X only if X is greater than hundred. So in the comparison, we'll write X greater than hundred. And in the body of the if statement, we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. So the condition is if the value of X is greater than hundred, then execute the body. That is execute this code, which is console log the value of X. And if we look at the value of X at this moment, it is set to 10. So X is not greater than hundred. So if we run this code, we'll get nothing in the console. So let us save this file, go back to Chrome. And if we reload, we get nothing. So if we change the value to let's say 200, so this time value of X is greater than hundred. So the body of if will be executed and we'll get the value of X in the console. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get 200 and this is coming from line number five, which is this one. Let's check another example. So let me comment this. Let's say we have a variable X and it's set to five. And let's say we want to check whether the value of X is greater than zero. So to check that we use the if statement. So we'll write if and inside the round brackets, we'll write X greater than zero. And we'll have the opening and closing curly brackets. And if the value of X is greater than zero, then the code inside the if block will be executed. So let us console log X is greater than zero. And then we can write console.log end of code. So we have a variable X and it is set to five. And we have a if statement and we are checking where the value of X is greater than zero. And if the value of X is greater than zero, then the code inside this if block will be executed. That is, we'll get X is greater than zero in the console. 
And then finally, this line will be executed, which will console log end of code. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get X is greater than zero. And then we get end of code. Now let's say the value of X is zero. Then in this case, this if statement X greater than zero, this condition is false. And since this condition is false, the code inside this if block will not get executed. That is, we are not going to get X is greater than zero in the console. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome, clear the console and reload, we just get end of code. That is, this line was not executed. So if we want to execute a piece of code, only when a given condition is satisfied, we use the if statement. Let's discuss the next topic, which is the else. So let me comment this. Let's say we have a variable var x equal to 10. And let's say we want to console log whether the value of x is greater than zero or not greater than zero. So this is a if condition. So we can write if x greater than zero. If this is true, that is if this condition x greater than zero is true, then let's say we want to console log value of x greater than zero. And let's say if the value of x is not greater than zero, then we want to console log value of x is not greater than zero. So we have two conditions. First one is if it is greater than zero, then print this. If it is not greater than zero, then print value of x not greater than zero. So in order to write the else part, we use the else keyword and we have the else block. So inside the else block, we'll write console.log value of x not greater than zero. And we can at the end of this code, write console.log end of code. So we have a variable x set to 10 and we have the if condition is the value of x greater than zero. If this is true, then the if block will be executed and we'll get value of x is greater than zero in the console. But if this condition is false or if this condition is not satisfied, then the else block will be executed and we'll get value of x not greater than zero in the console. And finally, we'll get the last line, which is end of code. So if we save this file, go back to Chrome, clear the console and reload, we get value of x greater than zero. This is because x is 10, which is greater than zero. Now let's say if we set the value of x to, let's say minus one. So now this condition x greater than zero is not true. So the if block will not get executed, but the else block will get executed. So now if we run this code, we'll get value of x not greater than zero in the console. And then we'll get end of code. So if we save this file, go back to Chrome, clear the console. And if we reload, we get value of x not greater than zero, end of code. So if we have two pieces of code, and we want to execute any one of those code, then we use the if else. And if the condition for the if is satisfied, then the block of code inside the if is executed. And if that condition is not satisfied, then the else block is executed. The next topic is else if. And we use else if if we have multiple conditions. So for example, let's say if we have a variable var x and it is set to let's say 10 and we want to print whether the value of x is greater than zero or the value of x is less than zero or if the value of x is equal to zero. So we have three conditions greater than zero, less than zero or equal to zero. So in that case, we can write if value of x is greater than zero, then let us console log 
value of x greater than 0. And if to check where the value of x is less than 0, then we can write else and we can again write if and this time we'll write x less than 0. That is, if the value of x is less than 0, then console log value of x less than 0. And finally, we can write else console.log value of x is 0. And then we can write the last line of the code that is console.log end of code. So we have a variable x which is set to 10 and we want to see whether the value of x is greater than 0 or less than 0 or is equal to 0. So we have our first condition if x greater than 0. If this condition is true then this if block will get executed. So we'll get value of x greater than 0 in the console. Now if this condition fails then we have the second condition which is if x less than 0. If this condition is true then this if block will get executed. So we'll get value of x less than 0 in the console. And if this condition also fails then we have this last option and it will print value of x is 0 in the console. And finally, this line will get executed and will get end of code. So now if we save this file and go back to Chrome, clear the console and reload, we get value of x greater than zero and then end of code. We get this because x is equal to 10 and x is greater than zero. So this condition is satisfied. So this piece of code gets executed and rest of the code is ignored. Now let's say if the value of x is set to minus 10, then in this scenario, this first condition will fail. So this will not get executed. The second condition, x less than zero is true. So this code will get executed and this will be ignored. So in the console, when we run this code, we'll get value of x less than zero and then end of code. So if we go back to Chrome, clear the console, and if we reload, we get value of x less than zero and end of code. And similarly, if we set the value of x to zero, then the first condition will fail because x greater than zero is false. So this code will not execute. Similarly, the second condition x less than zero will also fail so this code will also not execute and then we are left with this final else block which will get executed and we'll get value of x is zero in the console and then we'll get this last line which is end of code. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome, clear the console and if we reload, we get value of x is zero and then end of code. Let's do a recap. If we want to execute a single piece of code, if a given condition is satisfied, then we can use a if statement. If we have two pieces of code and we want to execute only one of them, then in that scenario, we can use if and else. And finally, if we have multiple pieces of code and we want to execute any one of them, then we can have multiple conditions. And in that scenario, we can use if, else if, and else. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You'll find all the important links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye!